So today, I want to discuss a very beautiful problem from ISI Entrance 2023. It's also useful for IOQM, the first level of Math Olympiads in India, American Math Competition, and of course for ISI CMI Entrances. This particular problem is based on a very simple concept. This concept is known as linear combination. Linear combination. So get a pen and paper and let's talk about this particular idea of linear combination and how to apply it to solve problems. Let's get started. So the problem says that x and y are positive integers, x and y are positive integers, such that when you divide 4x plus 3y by 7, the remainder is 2. And when you divide 2x plus 4y by 7, the remainder is 5. The remainder is 5. This is given data. Now you want to find out what is the remainder when 11x plus 5y is divided by 7. So what, are, what we are going to do is that we will write 11x plus 5y as a linear combination of these two things. I'll tell you what that means. So let me write it down. What is linear combination? Well, if you have two numbers, let's say capital A and capital B, then the linear combination of that is some number K1 times capital A plus some other number K2 times capital B. So it's just sum of K1 times A plus K2 times B. This is known as a linear combination. And this particular combination enjoys, this particular number enjoys the common properties, common properties of A and B. That is why it is important. So, for example, if A and B has any common divisor, that number will also divide K1 times A plus K2 times B. So, now that we know what is linear combination, let's try to write this thing, 11x plus 5y, as a linear combination of these two. So, first thing first, since 4x plus 3y gives remainder 2 when divided by 7, I can write it as 7 times q1 plus 2, that is 7 times some quotient, plus remainder. Similarly, 2x plus 4y equals to 7 times some quotient 2 plus 5. So we have both of these equations in our hand and we can now do the linear combination. So let me copy this and put it here. <laughs> And let's also put the other expression here, 11x plus 5y. So 11x plus 5y, we can actually first reduce this. 
This is 7x plus 7y plus 4x minus 2y, right? Remember, we want to find out what is the remainder when I divide this by 7. So first, I have isolated as much 7 as possible because 7x plus 7y will produce remainder 0 when divided by 7. So this part has been a reduction. Now let's look at 4x minus 2y. What we will do is we will write 4x minus 2y as a linear combination of this and this. So if this is capital A and this is capital B, then we will write 4x minus 2y as a linear combination of capital A and capital B. So how can we do that? Well, with a little bit of experimenting, you can easily see that this is simply 2a minus 2b. I mean, you can check. What is 2a? 2a is 2 times 4x plus 3y minus 2 times 2x plus 4y. 2 times 2x plus 4y. Okay. So this is 8x plus 6y minus 4x minus 8y. Which is precisely what we wanted. This is 4x minus 2y. So this thing is 2a minus 2b as I just mentioned. Right? Okay, so now we are almost done with the problem. So let me just write it down. 11x plus 5y is equal to 7 times x plus y plus 2 times a minus 2 times b. So I will write this right hand side expression now to finish the problem. This is 2a, so this is 2 times 7q1 plus 2 minus 2 times 7q2 plus 5. 2 times 7q2 plus 5. So this becomes 14q1 plus 4 minus 14q2 minus 10. Right? So that's what we have. And of course, we have the 7 times x plus y here. So finally, what do we have? Well, we can write it like this. 7 times x plus y plus 7 times 2q1 minus 2q2. I'll just add a minus 1 here so that I can add a 7 back. So 7 plus 4 minus 10. So this is 11 minus 10, which is just 1. So how does that help? Well, I have 11x plus 5y equals to 7 times x plus y plus 2q1 minus 2q2 minus 1 plus this one. So now can you tell me in the comment what is the remainder when this quantity is divided by 7? What is the remainder? So give it a try. We have actually completed the problem. It's right there on the board. You should be able to solve it. Thank you for watching this video. Keep on doing good mathematics. I will see you in the next one.